Spinal reflex therapy is like having a master's degree in massage therapy. It is not a reinvent or repackaging of any existing therapeutic techniques. It's completely new. Because it's based on a reflex, we can say with great confidence and accuracy that SRT is predictable, dependable, and reproducible. You can get the same great results that I get with my clients. Every SRT therapist gets the same positive results. It is the only soft tissue therapy that addresses the root cause of over 80% of musculoskeletal pain, the spondylogenic reflex. So what is that? It's a withdrawal reflex that originates from the facet capsular ligament in the spine. You remember in an anatomy class when you learned that the left and right facet are the weight-bearing points in the arch of the vertebra. That's the area we're referencing. When the facet is unstable, your body initiates a reflexive contraction of a prescribed set of muscle fibers. This is not about nerve root compression. It's not about which muscles are supplied by which nerves. It's about a reflex, a well-documented and researched reflex that creates contractions in specific muscle fibers from head to toe. This reflex exists for your defense, and unfortunately, it tends to get caught in a positive feedback loop. It gets stuck on, and when that happens, it will continue to initiate a low-grade fiber-specific contraction, which will then lead to joint tracking disorders, compression and degeneration in the joints, fibrotic tissue changes, edema, and chronic pain. The good news is that reflexes are predictable. If I were to tap 10,000 patellar tendons, I would see 10,000 knee extensions, right? We know what causes a reflex. We know how they respond so we can predict them and we can address them accurately and scientifically. As massage therapists, we address tense muscles, but what makes the muscles tense? It's, it's the nerve signal. Muscles can't contract without a nerve signal. So why are we trying to coax a muscle into a relaxed state when the nerve signal continues to fire? If I fed an electrical current to a muscle, would massage be able to create a relaxation effect in that same tissue? No, we need to turn the signal off. So with traditional massage applications, the therapist has to search the body for tension and attempt to turn off each tense muscle one by one. It's like going through a house and turning off every light. But SRT is like going to the circuit breaker and throwing the main switch.